Hi, I'm Wire. Welcome to Wireworks. Hi everybody, Wire here. I'm going to do something a little bit out of normal here. I usually don't do tool restorations, but uh, for the last month or two I've been uh, finding a lot of uh, people on YouTube who restore uh, um, vintage tools. My favorite uh, YouTuber would be Scoutcrafter. He does amazing things to uh, vintage tools. It's just I, I know I, I could never uh, top what he does to them. But anyway, um, what we're going to do is uh, restore this uh, vintage uh, ball-peen hammer. Now, this ball-peen hammer has a little bit of story to it. Uh, I don't know how old it is. I found this um, about 15 years ago um, when I was working uh, in the printing industry. Uh, uh, the people I was working for uh, was they bought a new press, a new six uh, six color press um, that I, I'd be running when they got it. Anyway, uh, the the printing business was in an old uh, mill. Uh, it was a cotton mill um, built uh, in the early 1800s. Um, now, um, what had happened was um, what we wind up doing is this um, press was uh, scheduled to come in. Um, probably within a month so what we had to do is these uh, ceilings were like 25 foot ceilings the mill was in, was um, made of stone and the rafters were had 20 12 inch beams across across it so what we had to do is uh, in order to get the uh, get ready for this press we wanted to get all the dust and any cotton dust or sawdust or whatever had been accumulating probably for the last 150 years um, so we, um, what I did is we got a scaffolding built up, um, high enough to where we could, uh, go up there with, uh, shop vacs and vacuum these rafters off. Well, about halfway through the, um, the building, on top of one of the rafters, this, uh, ball-peen hammer was laying on top of it, covered in about an inch of dust. So what I did is I... You know, when I got done, I took it down and I took it home. You know, it's pretty much all finders keepers thing. So I've had it uh, for 15 years. Don't know how how old it is, and maybe Scalcraft might be able to give me an idea on the age of this thing. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to wind up uh, restoring it. Um, probably not going to do a complete um, restore as Scalcraft does, but I will get this all cleaned up and um, maybe make it look as new as possible so uh, let's get to this and uh, we'll um, see how it turns out be right back
Okay, sorry for the lighting. Uh, my fluorescent tube burned out about 10 minutes ago. Anyway, this is after on the after being put on the wire wheel. I, I, only, I use a brass wire wheel. Um, I'm going to have to give me a, a steel one. But it seems like it cleaned it up pretty good. Nice and shiny. Now, uh, there is a crack in the handle here. I don't know how... It, it, the, hand, the hammer's not loose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this paint and whatever else is on here. Strip that off. We'll see what the handle looks like. And... Um, and we'll go from there whether I'm going to replace the handle or not. I really don't want to get this looking too good. I want to keep some of the history on this thing. Um, that's the reason why I didn't get any of these out. I didn't put it really on my belt sander to, to smooth that out. I mean, this hammer's been through a lot. I mean, like I said, I found it 15 years ago. It's a, I, I think it's at least 150 years old. I might be wrong. Uh, like I said, I don't know, but... Uh, I just like the the way it looks. Uh, we got a little shiny here, so let me um let me get this handle worked on, and uh, I'll get back to you when um when this is done. Okay, as you can see, the 
handle turned out pretty nice. There's a little bit of wax on there, but we can get that off. Hmm. There is a little crack in here. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's right here. And it goes all the way through to here. But I just don't see it affecting this hammer. I mean, it's really nice and tight, and I really don't want to change the hammer. I'm not going to use this. I just want to clean it up a little bit and put it in with all my old tools that I've been recently collecting. Um, so what I'm going to probably do is uh, stain this dark walnut, and then I'm going to shellac it. And uh, what we'll do is we'll see, uh, I'll give you a before and after shot when it's all done. So uh, let me get my uh, stain all set up here and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we have dark mint wax, dark walnut. I apologize for the uh, for the lighting. I've had lighting issues. I'm out on my patio. I usually don't do anything out here. Um, I, I just have all my tools and everything out on my patio. So um, besides the wife doesn't like the smell of paint on the inside of the house, so we come out here to do this. It's raining outside if you can hear that. Okay, this gave it not a real dark finish to it, but a little bit darker than what the, the original stock was. And this goes off. So what I'm going to do is let this sit overnight uh, before I put a, a finish on it. Put some, uh, probably going to shellac it. And, uh, Put this up with my collection. I had, like I said, I've been collecting antique tools now, probably most, actually most of my life, but really never really thought of collecting them. I just picked up old, old uh, tools here and there, but in the last two months, three months, I've been actually going out and looking for old tools. So, um, like I said, I've had this for 15 years, and who knows how long. It, how old it's been. It does have some writing on here. Um, what I'll do is I'll I'll see if I can look look. I'll use my magnifying glass, see what it says, and I'll let you guys know where it was made and what it is in my next uh, segment. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later, and uh, next time you'll see this, I'll uh, have it all shellacked and uh, ready to go. Uh, thanks again. You're this is why it works. Okay, here's the finished product right here. Um, I, I used a um, semi-gloss uh, polyurethane on this, and it really turned out pretty nice. Um, like I said, I didn't. I don't know if you can see this. I didn't get any of these these out. I didn't really didn't want to grind it down too much. I wanted to keep it as uh, original as possible. Now I did look, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's 
some writing on here. Uh, it says for 16 and 20 ounces. And um, I don't believe this is the original handle that came with this. Um, it was probably put on uh, way after um, the original handle was on this thing. Um, this is all stamped in, so I just don't think that this hammer is old as I believe it is. Um, only because of the handle. I, I don't know. I don't know. I I just don't. Uh, I just don't know how old this thing is. Um, I don't know if this is an old Billings or what. Uh, I looked for some kind of maker's mark in the head, and I couldn't find anything. Um, they just. Uh, the reason why I think is that this is this over a hundred years old is the way this pin is made. They just don't make them like this anymore. It's more of a rounder edge nowadays. This is more of a pointy edge. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this is going into my collection. Uh, I'm not going to use it. Um, it turned out fairly decent. So, uh, if anybody out there knows what kind of ball peen this is or who made it, I really would uh, appreciate that you putting it in the comments. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot. And uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see what we'll do on the next one. Anyway, this is Wired Wireworks. Thank you very much. Have a good one.